All right. Farmer J Dub here, and it is time. Time for five thousand. Um, it's it's happening today. We're getting uh the five thousand cows is coming. Tom one eleven moin. How are you today? I am just about to put in my last 500 cows to make 5,000. Oh, jump out of the way. Don't run over by a car here. So, all of these, they're all full. Every, every dairy barn I have has got 500 in it already. Uh, all different sorts in here. I think I've got lots of brown. I've got some brown and whites over here. I got your regular black and whites. Uh, the very first pen, I think it's got black cows in it. There's, there's all different sorts of colors and kinds, and shapes and sizes, and all makes and models. Oh, if I can ever get to the end of my dairies here. All right, one more to run through. massive dairy complexes uh, they've even got the really cool milking carousel in them I don't know if I've never really taken a tour of the dairy barns before so well I have but I don't think I've ever shown it on a stream but you got the uh, yeah you got the milking carousel going on in here it's pretty cool Production charts, the milk storage, keeping it at a nice 5.8 degrees Celsius. Offices. They're quite the really nice dairy barn setup. They're uh, a little on the, the large side, we'll say. Like, for holding 500 cows, the footprint that it makes is massive to say the least but it's a true dairy barn which I like so here it is this is the last one I don't have anything in here yet and this is gonna be the 500 all right oh this is gonna be a lot of clicking but what don't I have? I've got lots of brown cows. I got lots of. I got brown and whites. I've got blacks. I've got black and white. Oh, what the heck? Why not? The, let's just throw some Brahmin in. I don't know which color. Gray? I don't have any gray cows. There's light brown. White or brown. Let's go light gray. I don't have any light gray cows. So. Oh boy, this is going to take a while. All right, 50 is 135,000. 270,000 for 100 cows. Okay. We're just gonna go by. Actually, let's let's mix up this last one here. Uh, now we'll go a hundred of these. So I say two hundred and seventy thousand. Let's go, whoops, white ones, I 
Hey G. How's it going? I'm just I'm mad clicking right now. Okay, that should be three hundred. We're we're mixing up the last one. I don't have any Brahmin, so we're we're putting all different kinds in this one. extra but okay so that would be 400 and let's go 25 of each sure I got my count right here all right we're at one two three four hundred fifty all right one shy that's okay they well no I'm gonna buy that one right now there now we got five. Now we have five thousand. Oh boy! All right. Uh, let's open that. We're gonna need to give them straw. I do have uh, some total mixed rations made, so this all should go by fairly quickly, anyway. Oh yeah, it said that that was a lot of clicks. All right, where is? Yeah, we'll use this one. I just, I just finished getting this uh, field of barley done here, and yeah, I still gotta get the swadro out, and we'll put these swaths together, and probably crank out a. I'd say there's probably a good 200 bales on this field. That, that's my guess. I, I should know probably exactly what comes out of these fields. It's not like I've done them four times over this way, but I think there's I think there's at least 200 bales in that field. Maybe about 220. So 500 cows is going to take I believe it's about 1.6, 1. 1.0, 1. or no, almost 1.8 million liters of TMR. So this might take a little bit. It's, it won't take me too long because I'm gonna go and daisy chain, get my road train going here. I left all my trailers down by the down by the MVP silos, stored or silage bunkers. Almost got the one cleared out. Uh, there's 1. 1. 1.5 million left in the the first clamp. Uh, still 3.9 million in that clamp. So I've got I've got my food for the animals yet. Um, I might need to work on, it's always needing to work on straw and hay. Oh, what the heck? Alright. Got the road train. The Roadrunner road train.
making TMR the other day, <clears throat> this just, this is the setup. This is how it works so well. I'm just, I'm gonna start by filling up the TMR mixer just because. Now, what I do, fill the first one up with straw. Um, not all the way. Uh, these trailers each hold 105,000. That's right, bird, they hold 105. So I got 105,000 I'm gonna put of silage, 105,000 of hay, and this first trailer, I'm only gonna fill it up to 80, I think the magic number is 88,000. You can't let it go over 89,000 or you're gonna end up with forage instead of TMR. So we'll stop it at about 88. There we go. Next one, you can hit this, fill it all the way up with hay. And then the last one, fill it all the way up with silage. Dump all three into the TMR mixer, and you're good to go. Is, do it, looks like I have something in that. Do I have something in there? Can't be. 86,000. Oh, apparently I got some in there, so... Oh, what should I do about that now? Okay, I gotta clear that out of the mixer first, so... Uh... No. That's one thing I... I don't know why, but like forage wagons, right? They hold straw, chaff, silage. They don't hold TMR. I don't understand why. You'd think it... Like... It should hold TMR. It's not like TMR is that much different than like silage or anything else. So, like, TMR is a mix of everything that goes into a forage wagon. So, why wouldn't a forage wagon hold TMR? That's one thing that always kind of annoyed me a little bit about that. We'll get this cleared out of here. We'll go dump the uh, the triple trailers in here next, and that'll be a full load of TMR. But I just wanted to kind of fill up the trailers, fill up the TMR mixer, and show you what my uh, what my mixing proportions were, and it works pretty well. What didn't you think about, G? Uh, that the forage trailers don't hold TMR? I always... It was, it was just, it's always annoying to me because I would make, uh, before the big, huge, like, 100,000 liter trailers came out, I was using trailers like this for making TMR. And it always sucked because, you know, you'd have to use your your forage wagon to pick up uh, straw or hay out of the fields. And you can dump it right into the TMR mixer. You can take silage, you can put it in the TMR mixer. But as soon as you go take a forage trailer and pull it under the TMR mixer, it says it's not accepted. So, it's just, I don't know, it always... Oh, it was just annoying that you would fill it all up with the forage wagon and then you'd have to grab this wagon just to take the TMR out of the mixer.
So I've got, I'm starting, I'm starting to downsize now. Um, what have I already gotten rid of? I can't remember. I've gotten rid of the forage harvester because I'm not doing any more chaff. I don't need to make chaff or silage anymore. So the forage harvester's gone. The forage harvester header's gone. Um, yeah, it's, I'm slowly going to start uh, taking away stuff that I am not going to use. Once I get the silage clamps emptied, those are going to get sold, and yeah. I might just take, keep the TMR mixer, and I might mix myself up, say a couple million liters of TMR, and then I'm going to get rid of the TMR mixing stations, uh, get rid of the, the belts that pick up everything off the ground, there's all sorts of stuff I can start, slowly start getting rid of here. I forgot I had TMR in there. <clears throat> so all the manure finally got used up this morning. Uh, that got spread all across. Uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, the, I don't even know what to call it, the Giga Field. Everything south of the tracks basically is one field, so. And I was going to do cotton in there, but, uh, yeah. In my wisdom, what did I start doing? I started sowing it with sunflowers and didn't even realize what I was doing until I had had headlands. I pretty much did a ring around the entire field and then I realized that I was putting sunflowers in. So that's not going to be cotton like I wanted, but well, at least the sunflowers will go fast because I got the, I at least got the 12 meter headers that will chop sunflowers with the harvester at 15 kilometers an hour so that should go by fairly quick well a lot quicker than say doing like a barley or wheat field god that would take forever anyway back to this so we got our straw we got our hay and now we fill the last trailer completely full of silage We'll dump it in the TMR mixer, and that'll make us the TMR. 300, yeah, 300,000 liters at a time. Yep, that's a road drain. Oh, man. I've got so much hauling to do later. I think I might actually do a little bit of hauling instead of doing some square bales here. I'll feed up these cows, get them watered, get the straw in there. We'll get we'll get all the cows happy. How's that? And then I think I'm gonna just Start doing a little bit of trucking. Oh, you need big, wide corners when you're pulling triple trailers this long.
Oh, I love this TMR mixer station. It is super handy. Anybody wanting to do lots of cows like me, this is definitely, that is the way to go. I wish it was kind of like automatic, that if you would pull under the the offload pipe that it would just automatically do it for you, but this is one that you, you, you have to do this way. You just have to get into the TMR mixer and dump it yourself, but would be nice if it was automatic. Would definitely be more handy, but this definitely works. It just takes a little bit of time. It will be time to retire the map. Uh, it'll take me a little bit to use up the, the silage and TMR and whatnot that I have. Uh, I'll probably run this map yet for oh, maybe another week worth of game days. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I feel like. Maybe I might just uh, just start tearing apart all the dairies and keep on doing a little bit of arable while I take apart the dairies. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I should just straight up just start selling everything and start winding this down. It's, it almost seems like what I'm doing right now it would be like a waste of time considering I'm going to be closing this map down within a week anyway, and I'm just filling up the last dairy barn now. It's kind of like, why would you stop after you just got it there? So, maybe stay on the map and convert to something else. I guess I don't need TMR for sheep. Go with, uh sell all my cows and buy 5,000 sheep. <laughs> uh, I, I've probably got enough stuff in storage. I could probably start 5,000 pigs if I wanted. Uh, no, that would just be stupid. No, I don't, I, I don't think I'm ever going to hit 5,000 of anything. If I do, it would probably be... I'd say sheep because it's just, uh, they're so much more easier, you know, grass, hay, water, that's it. You don't need straw, you don't need, it would just be, that would be the way to go. If I were to do 5,000, I could again. But, 
this is it. This is 5,000 cows, and that's... I think I, I, I'm i almost at the point I'm going to retire from animals in this game, period. Like, Best you've done is 400 head. I got that beaten ten times. <laughs> Hi, Harley Quinn. How nice to see you. Miss Q, how are you? Haven't seen you pop in uh, on the stream for a while now. We missed you. Uh, missed you yesterday. You were nowhere to be seen. Mini-meetings. How are you doing today, Miss Quinn? Hope, hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. I think I'm going to start out with the, we'll just get the three trailers in there right now. I'm going to go grab these two water tankers over here. Killer Rock left them chained together for me, so I don't know if he's got anything in them. I hope we dumped everything out. Oh yeah, they're empty. Alright, time to go get some Wawa. Wishing your PC would arrive. New computer on the way for her, for Harley Q. Not gonna be work computer or personal, private, games, business. Ah, it's a computer, you can do anything on them. <clears throat> wow, it is one beautiful day here today. I mean, it is fantastic out there. I don't know what it is right now. It was a little chilly this morning. Everything was frost covered when I woke up. But man, the sun is out in full force today. There is not a cloud to be seen in the sky. And I like that. That means, that means this pesky snow is just gonna, it's gonna bugger off right away. Which, the, I am cool with that. I am, I'm done with winter. I'm done with winter, done with ice, done with cold. I wanna, I, I always get this way about this time of year. It's like the snow starts melting and the only thing I can think of is getting out camping. Camping and days on the lake. There we 
go. Offload that into the second tanker. Fill up the other one again. I don't know how much... Well, let's go take a look. What do 500 cows require? So I mixed it up really big on the last one here. <laughs> I, I didn't have any Brahmin, so I threw Brahmin in. It says cleanliness is 100%. Uh, productivity is still zero. We got 347,000 liters of mixed rations. No straw, no water yet, but that is coming right away. Oh, yeah, here we go. Should 500 cows in that one. We'll need at least 1.7 million liters of TMR. Uh, I would say probably about 400,000 liters of water. And... 500,000 liters of straw, probably. Got some big baling to, be, to get doing a little later. More straw bales, as usual, to pick up straw. Always needing straw. But after a while, I'm just going to let the straw wind out. There will be no more manure then. It'll just all be slurry. Which, I could deal with that. That's fine. I really, really do enjoy working on this map. It's so, so worker-friendly. I could easily just get rid of all my animals and go straight right back into arable again. It's not like I don't have all the equipment and everything for it, so... Start a legit seasons farm. After the animals? <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to do seasons with this many animals. I would... Well, no, I, I could start seasons with this many animals. Uh, make sure I have a good uh, supply of food for them right away. I could do that. I could almost do seasons. Oh, where am I going? Oh, what was I doing? The water is on the other side, J-Dub. You should know this by now. It's only been around these dairies 500 times before. That's right, because I put my water tanker, or I put my water filling station right there, so I can just... Do this. Pull up. I can offload and I believe I can fill up with water at the exact same time as I'm dumping. So if you do it like this, you just yeah, your trailer is already in the trigger, and the other end of your trailer is at the water tank, so you can just sit in one spot, and uh, you can fill and offload at the same time. Offloading goes faster than filling, so you wait until the tanker's full, and then start offloading it while you fill it, and yeah, it all works. It goes a little bit faster this way. Yeah, yeah, I would need three or four seasons to gather that much food. Uh, every day, I think I need at least 150,000 liters of TMR for each barn every day. So, I'm going to need at least... Oh... Uh, yeah, at least 1.5 million liters. of TMR every day just to keep up with the animals. 
That's, yeah, that's too much. I would not try 5,000 cows on seasons, that's for sure. numbers are slowly going up. <coughs> oh, I'm going to make make another cup of coffee while this is draining. Oh yeah, bird. Oh, chirp chirp. Oh, what? Oh, you get so excited. What's the problem, bird? Oh, spent time with the bird. Starting to freak out. Oh, you just get so excited every time I come over this way. Alright, let me put my coffee down and I'll come back over here in a second, bird. I'll settle down. now what oh you so funny you are so funny yes you are you gonna be good now you're gonna freak out if I go sit down yeah you done what Oh, jeez, right up in my face, right? What? Are you good now? You gonna you gonna be okay? Oh, probably not. Oh, there, gotta keep him entertained every once in a while, or he just gets to be so loud. Mornings are always... He's so excited in the mornings. Well, how's the water? Still going, 200 and, 200 and, what is that, 3,000 now? Yeah. feeling this would go by faster. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter if I just have the one trailer going or two. Funny, why won't it let me hook up to the other one now? Huh, 
That's weird. It won't let me hook up to the other one. Alright, well. That's weird. <clears throat> right out of the way. It was working good for a second there, but... Close enough? Or, uh, there we go. <clears throat> oh, I guess I'll just do one trailer at a time then. Was working with the two, but as soon as I unhooked one tanker from the other one, it wouldn't let me hook it back up again. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Boy, even just getting the last 500 cows in, getting them fed, watered, and everything probably is going to take me a good 45 minutes even. <laughs> oh jeez, I just I just read back. <laughs> oh gee, you are too funny sometimes. <laughs> oh I'll laugh myself to death, you guys. Oh, it's always always so much fun having you two in a in a chat. That's just great. I love it. Always keeping my day entertaining, you two. That is for sure. But I think I think yeah, when I'm once I run this map for another week or so, maybe two weeks of uh like game days. And then I'm gonna yeah, I'll close this one off and get rid of it. And figure out a new map. And it's I I swear, I swear I am not gonna do animals on my next map. I've got I've got animals on Rasvit and I'm going to have animals on Ningham. I don't I'm I'm still debating on another map. I I don't know which one. But I think if I do another map it's going to be straight up arable farming and I'm going to try to make it kind of like a energy production farm 
I'm going to do a lot of silage. Uh, I'm going to get some... I'm going to buy the lizard BGAs so I can put root crops, grass, straw, hay, everything into them. And I'm going to go... I, I'm thinking I'm going to do an arable farms that is energy production. And I'm going to run biogas plants and use my digestate and no animals, just BGA and arable farms. I think that would be a nice change of pace for me. That way I can still do my grass work. I can still make chaff and silage. Just not using it for animals. Using it for energy production instead. I might even go into getting uh, maybe look at windmills or something. I'm not sure. Jesus. That, wow. I must have a big raven on the roof because, man, I can hear him bouncing around up there. I seen a pretty uh I seen a pretty epic uh aerial battle the other day. Uh I was I was really surprised. It was uh it was three big like I mean big ravens were Yeah, they were in a battle with an eagle. The eagle was circling around and the ravens had didn't want any part of him being around anywhere. So it was three ravens uh, <laughs> trying to, like, scare off an eagle, which was, it was pretty impressive to watch. It was pretty funny, actually. <coughs> I guess the eagle must have been in the raven's stomping grounds or something. But it's definitely not uncommon for me to probably see an eagle almost every day. We got a couple that live... There's a couple of eagle families that live along the Illicillowit River. Oh, this is this is kind of like boring viewing but I'm, I'm I'm getting there it's this barn is slowly getting filled we'll check and see what my fills are oh yeah everything needs cleaning too I got to get at that but Hey, look at that. Should be full of water. We are full of water. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna leave that right there. I'll leave the other one right there too. And we'll get back to the road train and feeding the cows.
right. Now well, let's get back to it here. Total mixed rations, I still got 2.4 million liters. Plenty enough to feed that last barn full of cows. Yeah. Hello, hello. How are you today? Just, uh, I got the road train going. And I just finished putting in my last 500 cows. So now I'm at, officially, 5,000 cows. Uh, they're watered, and I just got to fill them all up with uh, TMR. Wait, what's... Oh, okay, that last trailer still got some in it. I was like, why? How is that possible? Thanks for paying attention. <laughs> Out on a smoke break. Are you at work today, Naya? Or are you just happily chilling out at home? paint job. Purple and gold, that's that's what does it. Uh oh. Taking a break from cooking. Your wife's birthday. Well, happy birthday to your lovely lady. She's having a fantastic day. Sounds like she should have a fantastic day. Got somebody cooking for her, so. Nothing better than a birthday meal prepared by your other. sort of special meal she was requesting. The game is too loud. That's probably just my Roadrunner, I would imagine. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can fix that up for you a little here. Uh, it would be... Master Volume? Or Vehicle Sound. There we go. We'll crank the Roadrunner down to 20%. Knock that down to 60. No radio. I don't... What is GUI volume? I just... I've never... I don't know what... GUI. What is that short for?
I'll just leave that one where it is. I don't, I, I, that's the one thing I don't understand. What is GUI? Oh well. Um, hopefully that's a little bit better for everybody. I believe it's the sound for the other cars in the game. Okay. Alright. Is that a little bit better? It's not so blaring loud for you with the Roadrunner? Okay. Now it's alright. Sweet. It says at the bottom of the screen, all right. Uh, oh, adjust the volume of the menu sounds. There it's, okay. Okay. All right, well, there's another 300,000. that would be, but I'm sure whatever it is would be delicious. So, did you ever end up making a making yourself a pot of jambalaya there, Germany? I was talking about it the one day and you're like, "Man, I haven't had that for so long." Ah, Nicholson Farms. Perfect. I'm just getting a bunch of people in the chat here today. This is nice. Oh, come on. That last trailer is just not going to be under there, hey? Alright. Circle back around. I wonder if I can get at it like this.
There we go. That works. Yes, I am from Canada, and Nicholson Farms is also from Canada. Oh, just finished up your vegan chili. Kind of challenge you working on there, Nicholson. Okay, that should be, what was that, 3, 6, this should take me up to 900,000 liters now. Survival challenge, found in a, found on a Facebook group. Check the levels here again. What are we at? Yeah, that'll get us up to 900,000. And we'll need at least two more trips with the road train. And that should, that'll, that'll fill it up enough for me to be comfortable with. And then we'll work on getting the straw. It'll probably be about seven loads of straw, I would imagine. I have to do the straw with um, a smaller trailer. There's no way I can use these 100,000 liters in there. Because the roofs are just too short and I can't tip them. So all the straw is going to be going in right there. I'll be using that. Germany G's throwing it up in there for me. Thanks, G. My chat's really going pretty good here today. I'm already up at 58. I don't think I've ever had a stream with with a hundred comments ever so I don't know you guys want to if you guys want to do that just 
just keep on yakking it up for me. That would be pretty cool. I've yeah, like I said, I've never had a stream with with a hundred comments, so that would be cool. So your survival challenge, Nicholson, are you what are you starting with for money? Like, are you you're starting are you doing like start from scratch? sort of survival challenge? I, I I think I am gonna haul in a little bit of grain or something today. I just I want to do something a little different here. Let's see what the um, train station mill. I want to look there on something. Eleven hundred for oats. That would that would probably do it pretty good. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. 17 is higher. Okay. I'm thinking of doing something in the train. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's potatoes. Dang. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do oats. Probably oats. Oats are the best price right now at the train station mill. So, what I'm going to do, since I barely ever do this, I'm going to switch to trains. I'm going to dump these three loads of TMR in. And... Oh shoot, I should probably at least give those cows one load of straw first. And then I'm going to... We're going to do some train hauling, I think. I don't use the train very often, so... There is a good price for oats at the train station mill, so I think I'll use the train and get my oats there. Start from scratch and a little bit of money. Yep. Yeah, that'll be a that'll be a tough grind. Cause on no man's land there's no contracts, so So what you got is what you got. Oh, that one time I... <laughs> what did I... Yeah, I had done that on Sosnovka. What did I start with? Five dollars in my pocket? I think by the end of the... By the end of that day, I had... I owned a tractor. And a crumbler. And I had 40,000 in the bank. <laughs> which wasn't... Which wasn't too bad for starting off with five bucks. <clears throat> oh, 
on mini burn, challenge yourself to go from 35,000 to 350,000. Oh, that's that's crazy that they start you out with 2.5 million on Elabok. get at least one load of straw in for those cows. I'm really, really enjoying these, the, the modded uh, T8 New Holland. It's, it's a really nice tractor. Sounds good and yeah, you can get it all sorts of power levels, this one. I think this is going to be a, a fairly well-used tractor on some of my maps. Get them at least one load of straw in there. Oh yeah, I would. Yeah, that would be something. Yeah, the map is pretty small, so your the contracts wouldn't be paying you out very much at all. So that would be. A, yeah, you'd be grinding for a while. equipment is cheap. You can buy tractors with three thousand dollars? Holy! Must be a pretty small tractor though. Three thousand uh, to forty thousand. Oh. Does, uh, the, can you buy almost any tractor used, or is it just certain tractors that you can get as used? get out of the way yeah no they're, they're not gonna get out of the way they're just gonna walk into my way that's what they're gonna do now oh, one load of straw is probably not even gonna make it appear on the ground <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, I don't see any straw on the ground yet. That was... Oh, there's a little tiny pile right there. Jeez, I'm getting all bent out of shape here. So I guess I'll be putting in more than one load anyway. Okay. Odd for used, used equipment. Sweet. Oh yeah, you're, you game on PC though, don't you? That's right, because you were saying you have some sort of crazy list of mods with like 1500 I can't even think of how much 
different sort of equipment I could possibly need that would require 15 or 1800 mods. Yeah, so one load of straw put a little tiny pile on the ground in that cow pen. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take at least four, I think. That way there's something at least in there for bedding. Yeah, yeah, you definitely can go for broke on PC mods. I imagine there's just crazy lists of mods for, like, animal pens even. Like, oh god, there must be so many choices for style, size, this, that, everything. You can get everything and anything. Yeah, I would imagine. Wow. Nea switching accounts. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's probably not Nea. It's ne Nia? Nia or Nea? First one, uh, Nia. Okay. I won't get that wrong anymore. Or Naya. Alright, I'm just, I'm, I'll, I'll stick with, uh, with Nia. If that works for you. Wow. This is really, I got nine viewers. That's never happened to me before. Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. This is... This is fun. I'm having a good time now. My chat's really active. I got lots of viewers. This is pretty fun. Wow, three loads of straw in here and it barely looks like I've put anything in. That's like the only pile of straw on the ground. But this was... I just put 500 cows in here, so... Yeah, the straw is going to take a long time to fill up. I wanted to get them at least a couple of loads in first before I go and 
take off and do anything else. <clears throat> and one thing I am going to do, I think I'm going to do right now, is I already switched it over to the train mode. So, oh, I heard the train ding in there. There it is. Oh, perfect. Alright, so this is Central Grain Elevator. This is one of the places that I have storage. If we can slow this train down. And that looks about right. Alright, uh, maybe I'm not under there. Oh, there we go. Select the car. Oats! So we're going to fill up the train with oats and we'll take it up to the uh, train station mill. I don't usually use the trains, but since, since they're here and I've got product to move all over. It's just unfortunate this train will only stop at the train station mill. Oh, I must not be far enough. There we go. Hey, Killer Rock. How's it going? Naya. Hey, G. Thanks for stopping in. Always love having you in the stream, buddy. So there was 300,000 liters in this silo. So I got that. that big huge sunflower field oh my goodness oh yeah <laughs> uh, that was that was my uh, uh, my little brain fart there killer rock I was gonna put uh, remember I said I was gonna put cotton in the the giga field down here 17 18 19 20 I I, I screwed up I, I totally forgot to look at the cedar, or the planter, before I started, and I started putting sunflowers in. I finally realized that I was on <clears throat> sunflowers by time I pretty much did headlands all the way around the whole field. So I was like, okay, yeah, I screwed that up, so... Oh, look at that, there's a nice... Field number one is full of cotton. Alright, coming up on the train station mill. Usually start hitting the brakes about right here. Okay, there is the trigger right 
there. not getting an offload should be I can't remember which car has all the grain in it okay this one does and I am oh okay I missed the trigger I gotta back up That's the one thing with the trains, it's, you're in the, you're in the locomotive, but it's, it's really hard to see that far back where the trigger is exactly, so. Oh, and I was on the third car anyway. Okay, is that enough? There we go. All right, making money now. Oh, snap. Look at that. 100. <clears throat> All right, Nicholson. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for thanks for joining in. You have an awesome day as well, bud. And I think Naya, you were you were the one that you hit that uh you hit the one hundredth comment there. Nice. Did I go too far again? Okay, let's see. Count the cars here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four. I'm on the fourth car. Okay, where is... There we go. There's the trigger. Ah. Oh, these trains are just a pain in the butt. There we go. That's probably why I don't use the trains. It takes me a while to get it parked over the right spot to offload. I'm going to take a quick 20 second break here.
<coughs> Excuse me. I had to adjust one of the blinds. The light is coming in and reflecting off something and right in the eyes. All right, well, that's done. Oh, let's see, what else can we get done here? Might as well take at least one more load of straw for those cows. Then I think I'm going to jump in the old road train here. We'll see what else kind of, what other kind of grain I can take in where and for what. It's time to start, uh, time to start knocking down the numbers here some. I've got so much product. Wheat, barley, oats, yeah, that's, I'm going to have to take a minute here. We'll take a minute and look at numbers while this is filling up with straw. Why am I down to, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm like, how am I down to 50 million? I, I had like 5.2 million before. Ah, uh, it's because I bought 500 cows. <laughs> That's where that money went. That's where a million bucks went. All right. God, I still got a ton of oats. Two million liters in storage. Well, maybe I'll take, oh no, I can't take the road train. Not to, not to the train station mill because if I take it there, I'll never get it out. Like I, there's nowhere for me to turn the road train around in there. So that's not the best idea. Well, I'm gonna have a huge field of sunflowers. So maybe I'll take, I'll take a load of sunflowers in. 1434 at the ranch? That sounds right. I can do that. We'll dump a load of straw in for the cows and I'm gonna grab the road train and we'll fill it up with sunflowers and we'll truck her on over to the ranch. <clears throat> I guess I could look at what the milk was doing too. That might be an idea. I always got lots of milk. Ooh, there we go. That's a nice price. 2700 at the grain mill, hey? Sounds like I might have to go to the grain mill with some milk. What is this? The fourth load of straw? I think. We're starting to get a little bit on the ground now. Very, very slowly getting some all right, I'm happy with that, for now. I just want to keep, I don't know what I want to keep on doing. It's, I've got so much to do in this map. Just, I feel like a chicken running around with my head cut off sometimes. It's like, oh, I should do this. Oh, no, I should do that. Oh, no, I should run over here and grab this. Ah, uh, maybe I can take that in. Oh, unlimited options, really. But let's go grab uh, let's go grab three trailers of sunflowers. Take them to the ranch. No, 
I don't want to do four trailers. I know the Roadrunner will pull four trailers, but some of the places where I got to deliver, I am never going to get four trailers in and out of there, so... That's what I was looking at with sunflowers was Yeah. Fourteen thirty four at the ranch. That'll do just nice. Oh, that was a Definitely a first for me today. <clears throat> Darn near had double double digit viewers. I'm up at a hundred comments now. So that's that's pretty cool. That's never happened for me before. <clears throat> I got four thumbs up so far. That's all good. time for big delivery of sunflowers go 315,000 liters up here. Oh, this is turning out to be a nightmare. Come on, come on. Oh, this is fun. Don't tip. There we go. Whew. Well, that's the thing about having a road train like this. You really gotta make some wide, big corners. I 
that was not fun. Alright, back on track here. Might as well let that car go first. Alright, this road usually has no traffic, so I'm all good now. It's going to be fun. All right, let's watch the money start pouring in. I got to make back that million dollars that I spent on cows. I'm going to end up getting that third trailer hung up on that friggin' pole there. The light post, I think. Oh, the triple trailers just may not work the best for me. It looks impressive, but... Detach that one. Let's get you, the two of you, out of here at least. Alright, so the triple trailers, that's just, it's not gonna work too good. No, I didn't want to do that. Well, the road train is pretty cool. It's just, you, I, yeah, I cannot get it to go around all of the corners I need. Well, we eventually got all three of them dumped in there, but... <clears throat> that was an adventure. So we won't do the the triple trailer road train anymore. That's just... it's too, just too much. There are a couple places I may be able to get away with it, but... Uh, I was hoping the ranch would be one of them, but... I think the only place I'm going to get triple trailers through may be... Oh yeah, this is going to be... Friggin' near impossible to get these all linked back together.
Oh, let's see if I can do this. If I actually get that third one to hook back up again, I will be rather impressed with myself. Oh, man, I can't even see it. There it is. Oh, look at that. I got it. I got it. Sweet. All right, now to get the heck out of here. Whew. All right, well, mission accomplished. All right, nope to self. Two trailers only. Trips can be used for making TMR, but not for hauling. I guess I got I got a lot of bales to pick up out of here yet too. Stacks of three. The heck, I thought that had a dolly on it. Where did the dolly go? That's weird. Oh, I know. I probably put it on the triple trailer there, that's why. Actually, we'll just go grab the two red tankers. <clears throat> I've got so much equipment. Some of these things can start getting sold off, though. I I don't really need the four tankers. I had four tankers when doing a multiplayer. But when it's just me, I don't need four tankers. Might as well get rid of the water out of here. Hook up to that other tanker and we'll start clearing some milk out. Take a look at what my dairy barns have in them. Alright, so the first one... Got 289,000 liters of milk, 448,000 liters of slurry. Most of the manure has been used up this morning on the, the big, huge sunflower field at the bottom. This one is not going to have very much because it just got 500 in it this morning, so... Another 290 milk there, 290, 288, 290, 173... 288, 286, 288. Yeah, so we got at least at least a few million liters of milk here. 
didn't even use all the water yet. <clears throat> We'll start filling up with milk. And if I'm not mistaken, in my silo I should have, yep, 6.5 million liters of milk in the silo. Everything sure came to a grinding halt there. The chat died off right at 100. I was glad to hit 100. Thanks, Naya. But haven't haven't had a comment since. I doing? There we are. Oh, jeez. Second one's got water in it as well. Alright. I think I'll just... Yeah, I'll take this over to the... over to the wood silo. We'll dump the water in the wood silo and we'll just refill it with milk. That'll work. Or... I'll just... Water, one of these. Yeah, that's what I'll do. to use my my gold trailers for the milk hauling liquid gold really milk is a big time money maker oh jeez I still got water in that tanker yet gosh next
All these tankers of milk are going to make me some good money. And we have to go to the grain mill. Grain mill is top right hand corner of this map. Train station mill is the top left corner of the map. Uh, I guess the bottom right would be the ranch. Or bottom right would be the restaurant actually. Bottom left would be the ranch. And right in smack dab in the middle we have central grain elevator. Which makes sense. got a big wheat field to do here yet, but I am I'm not horribly concerned about getting that wheat off yet. I got lots of time for that. Hey, CC, how are you today? Thanks for stopping over into my stream there, buddy. Nice to see you. Okay, now, with the milk trailers, you can daisy chain them, but to unload the first one, you have to select your, uh, your dolly in between. Disconnect the dolly. You have to drive forward, and there you go. Now you can unload the milk. That's the only part about the the two tanker setup. Uh, like the the end dump trailers, they will they'll dump while they're still hooked up. But these liquid tankers, you need to unhook the dolly from in between before you can unload the first tanker. Ooh, actually. I never thought of this. I think I just figured out an easier way to do it. What we'll do is... Start overloading, or we'll leave the two hooked up We'll dump everything out of the back one, and then you can overload from the front into the back. There you go. That solves the problem. Now you don't have to unhook the dolly in between. Ah, I just thought of that. Came up with something new. So just dump it out of the back tanker, and then you can overload from the front tanker into the back, and keep on doing it like that instead of unhooking the dolly, driving forward, dumping, driving back, hooking up the dolly, switching tankers, driving forward and dumping that one. Ha! Ah, made it just a little tiny bit simpler for myself. Oh, that's nice. $197,000 per trailer. Or per tanker. Good as gold. That's what milk is. Good as gold. That's a hell of a lot of milk. Oh man. I don't know. Uh, did you see what I had in my silo? <clears throat> Cause yeah, this is this is my five thousand cows map. So, yeah, I've got a lot of milk. Those are all dairy barns. Those are all dairy barns right full, 500 cows each. I got 10 of them. I 
you know what? I'm just, I'm in the mood. I want my gold tankers. I want my gold tankers. How much slurry do I have? Well, let's here. I'll give you. I'll give you the tour. All right. Each one of these has 500. So this one, I used pretty much all of the manure out of all of the the barns this morning on the the big huge field. Uh, slurry 450,000 liters, 230,000 liters of milk. That's just one barn. This barn doesn't have much because I just put the 500 in it. Uh, most of the other barns will be roughly around the same. Like there's 300,000 milk, 146. Uh, this one, yeah. Uh, you can max out the slurry in these barns. They will hold 800,000 liters. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I've got I've got some slurry to use. Uh, this one is maxed out, apparently, obviously. Tons, tons. I would never, ever run out of slurry. That, yeah, never. I think my BGA is at capacity for digestate as well. I think there's a million liters of digestate in the BGA. I, I got so much slurry, I never get a chance to use the digestate, really. There we go. Now I feel better. I got my gold tankers. Um, <clears throat> I don't have this in multiplayer right now, but, like, right, yeah, I could easily do a multiplayer game. I, I will, uh, I'll set that up for next time. Uh, I do use all of the slurry and manure every day. Um, let's take a look here, back on the map. Yeah, I own most of the map. I have owned the entire map at one point, but it just got to be, I have so many cows that I just mm, didn't have enough time to do all of the arable farming on every piece of land. So uh, this all down here, field 17, 18, 19, and 20, that is all one field. There's no borders anymore. <clears throat> so uh, here, we'll go back to there again <coughs> excuse me there we go so yeah that's that's all one field of sunflowers I'm gonna get probably I'll definitely get a million liters out of this field by tomorrow uh, I always do wheat barley or oats in field 11 and 13 so I can get the straw uh, field 9, I did a sugar beet harvest off there, so that's done. I still got field 8 to do. That's wheat, and uh, one of my grass fields is 8. 
Uh, I could probably do a cutting on that, fertilize it, and leave it so I can do a double cut of hay for tomorrow, but I'm, ju I'm just in the mood for doing some hauling right now. I've got so much to haul. Alright, there, offload that, start filling again. Basically offload one tanker straight into the other one and then refill the first one again. It is massive. I have spent massive hours on this map. Um, by the time I retire from this map I should probably have a thousand hours into this map. Which is just a ridiculous amount of time. But it's takes a ridiculous amount of time to get 5,000 cows. It's not easy by any means. Like, I, I'm so busy at the beginning of every day just with cleaning and just pick either straw, water, or food. Uh, <laughs> some days I don't even have crops to harvest. Some days I just spend an entire day on the animals and I clean water straw and feed without even doing a bit of field work because sometimes I just have to do that to keep up with the animals So many truck views here. There we go. Whoa. Well, that is a lot more quieter when you're in the cab. It is. It is a ton of hours and a ton of time with the animals. That's why I will never, ever do 5,000 cows again. I've, I've, hit, I've hit it once and it's just, it's too much. Uh, if I was doing multiplayer all the time, yeah, no problem. It would be simple to keep up with, but... I don't know why, but I've just never had people want to want to join. I I've, I've had this up in multiplayer tons of times before. And you think I'd get a hit? Nope. Um I have had uh just a I think it was last Saturday had Germany G and Killer Rock with me here. We did, oh, what was it, a bunch of chaff. We were filling up the MVP bunkers. We got 3.9 million liters of chaff that day. And that was, that was probably about all we got done that day. It was just a massive amount of silage. Um, one other time before, I had, had a guy gaming with me from Toronto. And he helped me for a day. Other than that, it's it's all me. This map is all me. Uh, that's the thing, though, CC. Uh, Five thousand is the max. You can't get any more than that. Um, you're allowed ten animal pens, and that's it. So you can mix and match your animal pens. You could have sheep, cows, chickens whatever um, so you're only allowed 10 animal pens so what I did was I just went with the dairy barn because at the time that was it was the biggest uh, the biggest enclosure for cows that you could get at 500 so 
I started with the dairy barns and they hold 500. That's the most you can get in an animal pen. So you're allowed 10 of those. So 10 times 500 is 5,000. So that's where I get 5,000 cows. So it's impossible to hit 6,000 unless somebody mods a uh, animal pen that holds 600 or like god forbid the day they come out with an animal pen that holds a thousand cows because I probably would have been stupid and been like yeah I'm gonna go for 10,000 but that would be insanity can I get into while that's filling here we go here's something I can do we'll do a couple passes here get the old speed hack going No problem, Cece. Thanks for joining in. Glad to have you in the stream anytime. I'll uh I'll try to keep in contact with you. If you ever want to help me on this map, you are more than welcome. I've only got I think as I as I start getting rid of a couple things that I don't need anymore. Uh I think as it is right now, I've only got 20 mods for this map, so it's pretty easy to join in. But till next time, buddy, stay safe, stay happy and healthy, and have a good one. Don't forget to smash that like button on the way out. <laughs> Later, CC. Okay, we'll do four, four rows. We'll go back, check on that milk tanker, keep filling him. Yeah, I was making 197,000 per tanker. So, yeah, the money's going to go up really fast here. <clears throat> I think I already made back the million dollars that I spent on the cows this morning. Or pretty close to it. You know what? Maybe I might try just gunning for 60 million. And then we'll... I might stop the stream after I hit 60 million and do a little bit of bailing, probably.
So this is this is where I always come back to the I wish the train stopped at more uh, more more sales place destinations. And I wish the train had a liquid tanker. Because if the train had a liquid tanker, then I could start moving milk big time. That would be a fantastic addition into the game. Um, having a train that you know, kind of paralleled a BGA, that would be handy as well. So that you could, like even uh, just taking manure to the BGA to put into the digester, being able to transport it by train car, that would be pretty cool. Um, and a liquid car, like a liquid tanker, or multiple liquid tankers on the train. That way you could also get your digestate out of the BGA. Those would be super handy. And if you had a liquid car, you could, I don't know, if you needed to haul water from one side of the map to the other for some reason, you could do that or just hauling milk to different sales locations or milk or uh, slurry to the BGA or digestate from the BGA all of those things that would be super handy to have in this man I wish giants could listen and maybe they would be like hey that that J Dub, he's got a hell of a good idea there. And just generally. Trains on maps are underused, big time. I think most of the reason they're underused is lots of the times I've noticed maps that have trains, the train only, uh, like, it will go by uh, like some of the sales places but not all or sometimes on maps it's the train only stops at or at the one sales place like the like it is here it's just called the the train station mill that's the only one that the train will be able to take anything and sell it at so unless there's a good price just at that one place is the only time I can use the train there. So it would be nice if, like the train, it runs right past Central Grain, but you cannot sell anything at Central Grain from the train. You can pick up from this brown one is your storage so you can pick up at the brown one, but you can't drop it off at the green one. The green one is central grain, but you can't drop anything off there. Which is kind of weird because the tracks go right beside it. I know there's, uh, what was that newer map that had come out? The train does stop at pretty much every place, but that just recently came out, so. Uh, which one is that one now? Lazy Acres, I think that one is? That one's got two trains on it, actually. 
Uh, another map where I did find you use a lot, you, you do make very good use of the train. If anybody's ever played on the Pacific Northwest, the train definitely comes in handy on that map because some of the sales locations are located in the upper part of the map and it's literally a mountain that you have to drive up so that that train there definitely comes in handy But in general, the train is underutilized on every map that it's on. I actually did use the train earlier in this stream. I took, uh, I did take some oats from the storage silo right at Central Grain and did deliver them up to the train station mill because there was a good price for oats. So I figured I might as well utilize the train at least once and do that. We'll see here after dropping dropping a couple tankers off at least in uh, the one sales location I would imagine is probably gonna create a little bit of a kerfuffle in the sales and might get a really really good price for milk at the restaurant next. Sometimes you can drive the price up at a different location by selling at a certain location. So I, I've noticed that once before where there was a good price for milk at where I'm taking it now, the grain or grain mill, and then the next day was a re even higher price, like a substantially higher price at the restaurant the next day for milk. I've got my tankers all figured out now. Let's see what 120,000 liters of milk pays. 332,000 dollars.
Alright. Now let's see. There we go. As I'll do a couple more swad rows here. All the tankers filling. Speed hack activated. I might as well just finish off doing the the last that be two more passes after this. And we'll go take more milk in. And maybe I'll do a little bit of bailing here yet too. I don't know. Should try to keep an eye on the time. Oh, there we go, 11.30 already. Wow. Ah, about another half an hour. That will be a three hour stream for me and that is plenty long enough. And the time goes by really fast sometimes. Still got a ton of bales to collect off of uh, field 13 as well. I think the bale counter set 142 on that field, if I'm not mistaken. Might as well just get this, park it back at the yard. Do all my cleaning and putting away of equipment later. Park it underneath of my J Dub. <clears throat> and while we're at it, why not? Let's do let's do one pass of bales here. Alright. Bail counter is reset.
Oh, I love using this big pack crone baler. Just watch the bales come flying out of this thing. Double swaths. Yes, indeed. You can pound out the bales like no one's business. Well, that's six. Nine. Twelve. I'm gonna get at least fifteen out of each each pass. Hell I might even get eighteen out of each pass. Yeah, I will too. So almost twenty bales per pass. And these straw bales I pick up with the with the auto load, lizard auto load trailer. Get 40 bales on the trailer all at once. And then I take them over to the wood silo and dump them right into the wood silo. The wood silo will accept bales and turn bales into loose material. Which is perfect for what I need to do for bedding cattle and making TMR. It's just that making bales and collecting bales is way faster to do than if I were to take a forage wagon and pick up these straw swaths. It's literally half the time. Got the twins are all set out here. My two harvesters ready to go at the wheat field anytime. Oh, am I still switched on to trains? Apparently I am. I might do something about that. Let's switch this off of trains. this menu. There it is. Ow, oh, where was... Ding, 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 ding. There you are. Oh. Why did that stop? Oh, I know. There we go. hoping that was going to be filling up while I was doing a couple bales, but I guess not. That's okay. Oh, let's see, I'm at 52.6 million. Let's, let's get ourselves up to 53 million at least. I'll be ahead of where I was earlier today even after spending a million dollars on cows. Selling milk and making the money back for all the cows. Why is the train just sitting there? 
I got it set to off of train, so it should be moving by itself. Well, that's a pain in the... Alright, we'll switch it back to trains and get this friggin' train out of the way. Usually once you take it off of switch to trains, that the computer will take over the train again and just start flying around the map. At least I'll get you out of the out of the way. If you're not gonna work anymore, then you can just sit over here. There we go. the money go up. Love watching the money go up. I have a feeling that price for milk is already dropping. Yes, it is. Now the restaurant is going up. Yep, yeah, I'm f forcing it. Because we were getting 2700 and now it's dropping and the restaurant was cheaper before but now it's hit its 2500 I think tomorrow will probably be the, the big day for milk. I'm just, just waiting for the day that there's a, a great demand for milk at the restaurant because when that happens, I think I'm going to sell all of my milk. That guy, Jonathan. Hanging out, checking it out. How are you today? Hope you are doing well today, having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day. I just got my 5,000 cows in. Uh, spent a million dollars getting the cows, already made a million dollars back by selling milk.
But I'm coming up on, yeah, I'm coming up on three hours here pretty darn quick. So that's going to be, I think I'll take this load of milk in. We'll sell that off, get the truck back to the farm. I think I'll call it a, call it a stream for the day. That was good. I had a great one today. Almost hit double digits in viewers. I hit, for the very first time, I've hit 100 comments in the chat. That was awesome. Yeah, it's been a good one today. I've had fun. Oh, looks like this one is out of milk. Alright, let's go to one of the other nine dairies. <laughs> I have in this one. Uh, there's 289,000 liters in this one. I've got five, I think that's five and a half million liters of milk in the wood silo as well. So I've got the milk. That is for sure. Oh, one other thing that would be, I think would be really cool. Um, sometimes they got uh, greenhouses in the game where you can, you know, you just add manure, add water, and they make you uh, income. I've got a, an other idea for that. Having a greenhouse where you grow strawberries and you can take the strawberries from the greenhouse drop them off in kinda like I guess it would be almost like a production factory in a way drop the strawberries off the production factory and take milk to the production factory and make ice cream strawberry ice cream or having greenhouses where you could grow vanilla beans and make vanilla ice cream or cocoa beans and you could make chocolate ice cream that would be a cool addition something different anyway That sunlight outside is just calling for me to get out there. It is too nice of a day for me to be inside right now. watching that money go up like that.
Perfect. 322,000. Two tankers. Here's one thing I can do right now is I have got to do, do, do. there you go that guy Jonathan you are now a moderator for my channel you moderate on everyone's channel so you always do a great job so I will add you in as a moderator as well All right, I think that will do it for today. That has been a heck of a heck of a production day today. I got a lot done. We put the 500 cows in. I got them fed. I got them watered. Mostly I got them strawed up. Um, used the train. I took in some oats. Oh, jeez, what did I do? I made a couple of bales. And I hauled a bunch of milk. Yeah. That was that was about it. It did, doesn't really sound like a lot, but man, that stuff takes a while to do. Thanks everybody for stopping in, keeping this entertaining for me. The chat was really nice today. Loved having a, over a hundred comments in there like to see that again someday uh, that guy Jonathan you are now a moderator thanks for stopping in CC agri who else we got we got we got Niaz in Nicholson Farms Germany G killer rock oh go back through the list here uh, da, da, da. and I think I am missing somebody. Oh, yes, Harley Quinn. How can I forget Harley Quinn? Thanks, everybody, for all the support. Stay safe, stay healthy, and always stay positive. These are hard times, so everybody just stay positive. We'll get through it all. Till next time, have a great one. I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.